back for day two here in Disney Springs this time during the daytime and wow just being here again I will say that even though we don't pay an entrance fee to come in like we would uh, the other theme parks like Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios it definitely does feel like we're in the atmosphere of Disney mm. so if you're on a budget and you're in the Orlando area and you don't want to pay to get into any of the theme parks Definitely coming over here to Disney Springs will give you that Disney feeling. Disney Springs, what I don't know for anyone, I'll explain a little bit. Disney Springs is a shopping complex, like a kind of shopping complex. It's like a restaurant for 100 or 200 or 200 or 200 or 200 or 200 or 200 or 200. Disney Springs is in fact very huge. And from what we saw on numerous YouTube videos that we watched and uh, amongst our own research, we, did, we couldn't ever imagine how huge this place is, but man, there are shops and restaurants for days. <laughs> so we are here again for a second day and we hope to get as much of that uh, packed into this video as we can for you guys. So let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Once upon a toy. This is a Toy Story themed toy store. And it looks pretty cute. It's got Mr. Potato right in the front here. It's going on top of the, the Play-Doh <laughs> container. Mm. Toy Story themed, of course. <laughs> oh, Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, she has a good version. Oh, this is it? Buzz Lightyear? Mr. Potato Head version? Yeah, it sure <laughs> is. How cute. You're <laughs> very cute and interesting. <laughs> This is so cool to all the basketball fans out there. You can be just like Mike. But not Michael Jordan. Mike from Monsters Inc. Do you want to be just like Mike? What a what an awesome basketball. And to all the PE fans, we have a Mickey Dodgeball. There isn't a funner way to play dodgeball than throwing Mickeys at each other. This is this is so cool. And for the volleyball fans, beach volleyball with the Disney iconic cast. We got Goofy, Donald, Minnie, and Mickey all playing on the beach. Oh, you got their autographs on there too. This is super cute. Plastic shovel. Disney no Disney no Disney Ega no Soul no figure ga Taksan Haita set. It's silly. Now this is a cute oh, plush. So cute. The way they did his face. Mm. This is a cute plush. Yeah, he looks so cute. Look at that. Such a cute monster zinc plush. I really like this guy. <laughs> Me too. 
Me and my friend. <laughs> Sorry. You wanna take him home with you? Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> I think I see something I like. Spirit jersey! Hello, yeah. sunshine. I like this. Oh, that's really cute. It's a really cute spirit jersey. Mm. And of course, I got mine yesterday. Spirit jersey. I think a lot of girls would like this shirt from this store. I see a lot of cute stuff. A lot of fashionable items, yeah. too. Yeah. Like, with some details, like with the. Uh, a padding here. Mm -hmm. Very nice touch. And look at this. Sherpa Spirit jersey. <laughs> nice. Look at the quality on this. Really nice material. This is Mokomoko. Mokomoko. Oh, mini lunch fly here. Again, yeah, with the pen. Sure. I actually think that you can like match that with this spirit jersey. It looks like a nice set. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a nice set. <laughs> Good match. Yeah. I thought it was a spirit jersey, but it actually it's a really cute crew neck. That's so cute. Mini heads all around. Yeah, I that's like very cute. I really like the the red color. Oh, oh yes. But this is a reverse spirit jersey. Oh, with the writing on the front. How cute. 
Very cute. Um, Based off 101 Dalmatians, mm. 101 reasons I love Disney. <laughs> that is so cute. Look at the leggings. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, so comfortable. You were right, babe. Many items that we haven't seen before. Mm. アクセサリーがいます。どれもちょっとお高めですね。<笑> Do you need Burke? So, not lunch fly? Not lunch fly. Here we got some Cruella bags. Mm. Also, Duny and Burke collaborations. Very cute. Mm, very cute. Bring homage to. 101 Dalmatians. Of course, the new Cruella movie that came out not too long ago. Spirit jersey. Yay. Oh, these are... Very colorful one. Popcorn? Yeah, that's popcorn. It's got popcorn on it. Popcorn oh, theme. Oh, so this, this one's really cute. <laughs> Very unique spirit jersey. Yeah, it's so unique. Popcorn. Yeah, these letters. Really well done. Good job, Disney. <laughs> this is the brush shop of Cherry Tree. Wow, that's a nice retro dress. Mm. I like it a lot. Yeah. Of course, the dress shop on Cherry Tree Lane is in homage to Cruella. Mm. Okay, I'm actually. This is like the shop that she designed with the dresses in. Very nice dog. Very Cruella esque. Mm -hmm. I think this is the place where you can get some cute dresses. And of course. Marvel. It's a Black Widow dress. Wow. Oh, how nice. Look at that. With, the, with the Black Widow logo. Yeah. Right on the yeah. front. Black Widow logo. Super cute dress. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Look at the bottom here. Captain America shields right on the buttons. So cute. It looks like a vinyl record. That's, this is a really cute bag. <laughs> I like it a lot. Oh, 
It's very oh, brown. It's, yeah. yeah, it's got little stitches on it. What a cute trunk. I think it's slightly too big. I don't mind it, so I like it. Oh, it is a dress. Oh, this looks like the art gallery. I think that's where we are right now. It was connected to the trendy store. Looks like an old comic book cover. That's pretty cool. Galaxy Getaway with Mickey and Minnie. Uh, I, I'm not sure, unless uh, the runway attraction has that, but I think it's just a theming, which is pretty cute. <laughs> oh, they got some cute little tumblers there with some placemats. Oh, if you wanna, if you wanna eat in Disney style. Disney style eating. I like that. Oh, you can eat with Nikki every day. Oh, this is, I guess, this is called the Walt Disney World Preview Center. Is where we're at right now. Jacket. Check this out. It's a baseball jacket. Oh, that's nice. Magic Kingdom. Wow, that's Magic Kingdom specific. That's quality embroidery on there. It's heavy. It's got some weight to it. You can wear this in Canada. How much are those? Magic Kingdom. Let's see the price. It is $89.99. Oh, it's not bad. I thought it was going to be more expensive. $89.99. Pretty nice jacket. Hmm, it feels uh, pretty good quality. I really like this tee. The classic Mickey hat mm. with a little bit of vintage fading. Why? With the Walt Disney World logo. Simple, yet effective. And very stylish. And it's got the castle in the background too. Very nice graphic tee. Yeah. Wow. These retro TVs look really cool. Mm. Playing old footage from, I guess, uh, when Walt Disney World was first being developed. Well. All right, it's raining outside like a mofo, so we made it to the Lego store. Ooh. Look at that. Darth Vader, purely out of Lego. That my friends, is art. Oh, sorry, I see something that she likes. OMG. Grogu made out of Lego. How unbelievably cute is that? We got the Millennium Falcon, of course, which we can't wait to ride at Hollywood Studios. Oh! Look at that. They have the AT-AT, which Spider-Man made reference to in Civil War. And R2-D2. Look at that! They actually have a friend's Lego set. How hilarious is that? Oh, look at that Lego art featuring Iron Man. 
course, we got Nick Pianzi. We got Marilyn Monroe. And we got John Lennon. Sesame Street. Sesame Street? Yeah. So cute. <laughs> the White House. How random. A police station. Oh, look at that. There is Iron Man. You can take him home with you. Oh! They got the 50th anniversary castle in Lego style. Really cool. Yeah, of course, this is a anniversary. Oh, I, actually, I don't think it's 50th anniversary. I think it's just the Magic Kingdom. Oh, no, it is. Yeah, it's the 50th anniversary. Yeah, it's the 50th anniversary edition. Pretty dang cool. Ooh, they got a Darth Vader Lego art as well. Very cool. They got a pick and build station. So I guess you can customize. And look at all the different colors that Lego blocks are available in. Very cool. OMG. This is the MVP of the store. The one, the only, the incredible one. And of course, I need a picture there, babe. Who is this? Of course, Mr. Groves. Oh, she's ready for the picture. Miles Morales yeah. and Spider Gwen. Yeah. What's that? We got a little cute Winnie the Pooh set up there. Winnie and uh, all his friends. Oh, his sticker on the right. All of them over there. Oh, I know. Just chilling on the right oh, myself. Nintendo Entertainment System. My brother and I, this is our system. Thank you. Yeah. Super Mario. Wow, Super Mario Legos. Oh, my favorite DC superhero. Batman. And that is the retro from the Michael Keaton. 1989 Batman. Oh wow. From the 1960s series. And this is the Batwing. Remember when Batman was flying this plane? And cutting the balloons and trying to shoot the Joker? That's it right there. Awesome. Oh, this is a Mario block. From Super Mario 64. <laughs> Really cool stuff here. We have some tea. We got the Daily Bugle. This is where Spider-Man works. I see Dr. Octopus up there. And of course, Shang-Chi. Nice to see some Shang-Chi merchandise, always. We absolutely love that movie. Yeah. And it's a dragon. It looks pretty cute as a Lego form. <laughs> Oh, Carnage and Venom. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, they look more blockified here. <laughs> and we got Captain America, Thor, and Spider Man robots. Miles Morales, their armor, Lego armor. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got the Hydra Stomper from What If, mm -hmm. Captain Carter, 
Red Skull, Spider-Man Mech, and Spider-Man and Ghost Rider versus Carnage. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so now we're in the line for Gideon's Big House. Yay. The world famous. All right, we're gonna get some cookies. Uh, we decided on a couple different ones. And uh, we'll give you our review shortly. We are now inside Gideon's Big House and e Nioi. It smells so nice in here. The overall theming of Gideon's is on point. So this is Jack Lindsay's famous hangar bar. Pop it during the evenings we hear. Gideon's! <laughs> and right next to it we have also the famous Morimoto Asia. But we won't be eating Morimoto Asia today. Because we're not here to eat Asian food. There's just so many restaurants, so many shops. We can't just do it in a few days. <laughs> Impossible. Impossible. We got a variety of restaurants here. Along the walk. STK. I'm guessing that stands for steak. Maria and Enzo. Restaurant. Huge, like no joke. <laughs> like if you wanna like, everything, yeah. you have to dedicate like more than one day yeah. just to these springs because it's that huge. Wow, a big balloon. That's one big balloon. Got more shops here. <laughs> this is style. There's an AMC movie theater right there. 
Oh, that's what it is. See Disney Springs from the air. It's a hot air balloon, so it goes up, up to four, you can fly up to 400 feet and see Disney Springs from the air. <laughs> Here we have Disney Style. Another Disney shop with a ton of apparel. Mm, bad vibes only. I like that. And now, Star Wars Galactic Outpost. For all y'all Star Wars fans, I think we'll go check this one out. Music already has us hype. The Mandalorian. <laughs> Leia and Han. I love you. I know. Oh. Got a little Grogu chilling here by himself, looking at all the visitors. Yeah, looks like he's trapped. Oh, a nice little flat out. Plaid shirt, tie-dye shirt for the Mandalorian. Oh, I like those tie-dye tees. Or, uh, sorry, tank tops. Perfect for the summer. Look at this R2-D2. What's on the back of this guy? Take a look. It looks like a spirit jersey. And it is. Star Wars, look at that. Skywalker Academy Spirit Jersey. Pretty cool. Mando. Kawaii. I forgot the character on the right. <laughs> Would rather be napkin. When I do school or work, that's me. <laughs> Does not listen or follow instructions. That is Saya. Very cute. Galactic. All over print tees. A shiny tin well print. Very nice shirt. Is that a Halloween set? Uh I think it's a pajama set. Oh that's a cute pajama set. Is that a pillow then? Yeah, it's a pillow. So, so cute. cute. Oh, look at that. So cute. Definitely Grogu's pe uh, presence is very dominant here <laughs> in the Star Wars Apple Store. Still the most popular character of the Star Wars universe. Oh, it's a purse, I think. You can put something inside. Ah. How cute. That is a cute Halloween costume. <laughs> yeah. If that was my child, I would be painting his face green. Or her <laughs> face. That's for sure. Cute little Darth Vader teeth. <laughs> These lunch flies are a popular hit. 75 bucks. Cute little Princess Leia costume. It's got the wig included. Very nice. And we have Darth. Classic. Brings us to the end of the Star Wars outpost. This Star Wars I'm excited for this one, guys. You know. See the shield logo right on the front. Ah, 
giant display of the Avengers and miscellaneous Avengers related costumes. Alright, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Black Widow and Shield database files. Shang Chi rings. <laughs> That'll go great with the costume. And I did see some costumes walking right in. Cool. Captain Marvel. Ah, Guardians of the Galaxy. Shield database file again. A little section related to Captain Marvel. The Eternals. Oh! Yeah. And my favorite superhero <laughs> of all time, Wolverine. He's got his own huge figure here. That's cool. He's big. I'm happy about that. Oh, he talks. How can we make him talk? Can we make him talk? Oh, it says push the button here. Get ready to taste adamantium, bub. Damn. <laughs> Get ready to taste adamantium, bub. Let's see what else he says. Yeah. He's ready for battle. Berserker rage. Berserker rage. Man, I love that guy. That would be my definite pickup. <laughs> Thank you, Fuko Pops. I like to get some, but I think Saya would be angry if I popped another Fuko Pop. You have too many. <laughs> One for the gauntlets. Cool looking Black Panther costume. Very high quality. Oh, it's like a windbreaker. Mm. Zip up. That's really cool. It's on the back there. Got the A. Let's put the hood on. It's a nice jacket. Oh, the mugs like this. Oh, got the American mugs. Very dope. The first Avenger it says in there. Oh, huh. got a Marvel tie dye spirit jersey. What's on the back? Oh, that's cool. A big Marvel with the oh. Avengers right there. Oh man, that is a dope spirit jersey. Oh. I'm telling you guys, that one is really, really nice. Last slide, doing some work. Doing some more work with Marvel merchandise. <laughs> Cute little athletic tee for kids with the shield pocket. I think it's actually a girl. Oh, yeah? I think it's for girls then. Looks cute. <laughs> uh, the uh, eternal merch is out. Go for it. This is, looks like it could be the next big thing. <laughs> you know what Marvel did with Guardians of the Galaxy, so. Yeah, most people don't take a talking tree, a talking raccoon, a dude with a complex that goes over his head, a deadly assassin, and a guy by the name of Star Lord take them seriously. Yeah, but exactly. after that film came out, it became a huge hit. And the same is going to go for the Eternals that comes out next week. I absolutely believe it. I was on top of the game with pushing their B-level heroes from the uh, from the comics, so... Yeah, I mean, Can't it's like the, they beat the B team. I'm like, Ugh. that's I mean, they say that for Iron Man and the Hulk, but... Yeah, true. And now they are... I mean, Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Captain America, they became the biggest group the world has ever known, the biggest movie franchise ever. Absolutely, so, absolutely. So it only makes sense for having them right here in our location. In fact, they are showing the trailer for Eternals right now. <laughs> there it is. Can't wait to see it on the premiere. Some cool looking kids t-shirts. Friendly in the neighborhood Spider-Man, I like that. I 
I really like that. And I really like this too, this tie-dye tee. It's very, very fashionable, very stylish. Maybe it's difficult to see, but uh, there's black panther here. Really, really cool. We used to have Captain Strange, but that's sold out a while back. Spider-Man tees. Again, the Daily Bugle, this is really cool. There's Lego set here. You can actually see Daredevil. Right there. Oh, wow. Carnage is right there as well. Mysterio. Spider Gwen. <laughs> All over the Spider Verse, you have characters popping up. Really cool. Yeah, we have Spider Man pajama set? Yeah. You got a Spider Man pajama set. Well, the MVP of the, the MCU. Of course, you gotta have it. Oh, that's cool. Spider Gwen. From Into the Spider Verse. Very cool costume. Some more Shang-Chi merch. Very cool. Very, very cool design. What a tea again. I love that tea. This one actually glows in the dark. It's got the whole intro, the dialogue from the intro on it. <laughs> That's wicked. That's wicked. Oh, I like these. Retro figures based on the comics. Fantastic Four. Invisible Woman. Oh, they got Dead. Uh, uh, Bullseye. Who, of course, is from the Daredevil franchise. No. This is actually a cassette tape. Wow. From Guardians of the Galaxy. Is this a soundtrack? It looks like it must it must be the soundtrack from Mission Breakout. That's super cool. Oh, I like that shield display right there. Are done with the Marvel Station headquarters here at Disney Springs. Very, very cool to see this. Disney's Candy Cauldron. Another candy store. Let's see how it compares to Goofy's candy store. Ready to check it out? Let's get in there. Looks very Halloween themed. Always done for <laughs> That she is. Smaller. Smaller than we thought, but very nicely themed in here. Smells nice in here, that's for sure. From afar, you can see miscellaneous candies. It's sort of a similar assortment of stuff that they had in Goofy's candy shop. I think it's an extension of Goofy's candy shop. Like I see like the uh, candy apples, I see many of the same goods that they had. Yep, we're heading back later. Yeah。あと、グーフィーキャンディーコーでは、あ、食品屋さん食品屋さんっていうのかなが、お菓子を作ってるのが見れたんですけど、ここはちょっとお店が小さいのもあってなのか、そういうのを見れなかったので、うん
with a red M&M on it. Do I have that? Alright. So we have M&M M&M collectible figurines. They're oh. cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his expression. <laughs> What's going on here? Why is he so sad? Ah, oh, the blue one. That's a cute package. Yes. Huh. Big one. A lady. Very cute. Who is your favorite? That's a good, I, that's a good question. Personally, I think they all taste exactly the same, but I would say my favorite color is green, followed by blue. Yes, I'm a stereotypical boy. And as you can see, who's your favorite? M&M's for days. I think it's really cute, but for some reason we've had so many sweets today. Yeah. I, I'm kind of getting sick just looking at the M&M's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at oh, these oh, are really cute. cute. Look at this. Oh, yeah. It's M&M pieces. It's M&M pieces. Oh, look at that. Now this is the good stuff here, the Disney exclusive stuff. Oh, these are cute shirts. These little ringer tees. Look at that. With the Mickey shaped heads. Oh. This is very cool. This is Prince, it says. And they're wearing a Mickey, Mickey hat. <laughs> there we go. There we go with the collaborations. Good stuff. Cool shapes. Flowers and butterflies. Candy machine replicas. Very cool. Wow. Minute merch for days. These are cute. Each color has their own flares. Oh, little measuring spoons. Look at that. Those are super cute. You already have. <laughs> you already have it. Yeah. How much are those? Three ninety five. Yeah, three ninety five. Not actually bad. really cheap. Wow. Not bad at all. That actually makes a lot of sense. With the different spoons and different colors. The obligatory panning shot with all the flavors. Look at that. M&M fans dream come true. M&M? No, it's not. 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 There must be really big fans of M&M's because they have so many M&M merch. Like you must be really going crazy over M&M's. So cute though. The characters are really cute. Oh. <laughs> This is definitely my favorite. <laughs> oh my god, look at the yellow one! He's so terrified! Oh no, that's Saya! That's me. What? Oh, you can design your own thing. <laughs> the Halloween display here at the M&M store. Why are you so worried, bro? <laughs> This one is funny. My brain has too many tabs open. <laughs> That's why he's probably processing slowly right now. As we know with our internet web browser. That's hilarious. Sometimes that is the I have too many tabs open. <laughs> yep, Sometimes. that is very true. <laughs> First candy in space. Wow, I did not know that. I guess M&M's were the first candy in space. 
はい、ラムラムありがとうございます Thank you so much See you guys later Alright, so We're in front of Planet Hollywood Here in Disney Springs And So you notice Spider-Man is chilling right in the front So let's go have a closer look Alright, so we're inside The entrance of Planet Hollywood And you can see They have the costume From Spider-Man 3 Tobey Maguire Who Maybe we'll see in No Way Home. Over here we got Chewbacca chilling. And we have the 1980s Superman, Christopher Reeve. Coca Cola no, we saw me get on the day, I'm not gonna hide taking my. What's up? Oh, I want your Ripley shirt you got there, pal. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we definitely will. Appreciate it. And I especially like the polar bear. The Coca Cola polar bear. Oh man, that is adorable. <laughs> and that is so you, babe. You might have to grab that. <laughs> yeah, total cuteness. I'm sure everything looks good on her. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Nyong. Oh, this is Nyong. Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh, they have a Fanta Spirit jersey. That's really cool. Let's see what it says on the back. Fanta. Heck yeah. You want to represent? There it is. Who doesn't love Fanta? Ah, I like that with the Katakana. <laughs> Bottle opener? Yeah, nice. Oh, this is my style right there. This is my style. That's a great collaboration. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Walt Disney World Resort. Wow. Nice. That's a really nice tea. And it goes for $24.95. Cool keychains. Got a cherry coat. Phantom. <laughs> oh, it's the polar bear. That's my oh. favorite Coca Cola mascot. Cute. Ain't he cute? He's freaking cute. <laughs> Come on. Lucky you not love the polar bear. Is that a magnet? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Orlando, polar magnets. Backpack, that's pretty cool. Pops with the red color. Coca-Cola shaped pen. Again, the polar bear. No, my, my favorite mascot. We are now in the Coca-Cola polar bear experience that there is. Yeah, it's on the second floor. <laughs> and I love the polar bear. That's cute. Polar bear merch. Look at those pajamas, man. Oh, it's like a, it's combined with sleeper. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. All in one package. <laughs> you don't need to use any slippers or shoes. Speaking of sleepers. <laughs> That's hilarious. If you want polar bear feet. You can buy those. Oh, those are cute too. Those are really cute home slippers. Keep your feet warm with the polar bear. Oh, look at them. He's got love in his eyes. Yeah. And if you want the normal, oh, he's winking. Ain't that a cutie? These these hoodies are really nice actually. They're my style. Simple on the front. Simple on the front and on the back. We have Walt Disney World. 
Coca-Cola, Walt Disney World. Uh-huh. Pretty nice. Mm. Yeah. Pretty nice merch. <laughs> oh, look at that one. This is my the sunglasses. It's cute. Cute. Oh, man. Look at this guy, the hoodie. He looks, he looks gangsta. G'd up. Now, rocking with the hood up. <laughs> huh, you want to wear a beanie? You got them on your head. Love the graphics. And look at all the plushies. Good. Steady approaching T Rex, which is also a restaurant, but uh, we're not gonna be eating here today. But we're definitely gonna go in and check out the store. Let's go! All right, here's the front a prehistoric family adventure T Rex. Any shot of the Brontosaurus and T Rex restaurant and store. Awesome, baby. Alright, let's get in there. Ooh. That is a prehistoric octopus suspended. Wow. Look at that. We're not going to eat in the restaurant today, guys. But you got a T Rex moving around in there. He looks pretty hungry. Big T-Rex right there, right in the shop. That looks like a little raptor. A little raptor. Big T-Rex. What's this guy? Is he a drone? Cute. Oh, his hair talks. Very cute. Her name's Trixie. Build a Dino experience by Build a Bear Workshop. Oh, okay. So the same company that does Build a Bear has a Build a Dino Workshop right in T Rex. And of course, you wouldn't be Disney without this beer jersey. Fierce. And this one me it says Roar means I love you. Oh, ain't that cute? Miscellaneous <laughs> plushes the vein of the Build a Bear workshop. So of course you can pick and choose and customize. Oh, that's cute. It says choose me. They want to be chosen. Who do you choose, babe? I don't know. Don't make me choose. <laughs> uh, cute little guys. Here is the stuffing machine. This is where the stuffing for the Build-A-Bears or Build-A-Dinos all comes from. Look at all that stuffing. A lot of fuku for the Build-A-Dino. You can even put hair on your Build-A-Dino. You can really, really customize it to look like yourself if you want. That one looks like Donald Trump. Oh, look at that. That's cute. She's got a bow top. Crazy beaming inside. It's a T-Rex restaurant. 
get that move into your ex. He's gonna eat some wings. Here's the daytime view of the Lego store. First of all, we got our good friend Mickey in his Fantasia outfit. Looking very cute. And on the other side, as we step to our left here, we have Anna and Elsa. It might have been up there and maybe got ripped off by some crazy kid. True Lego works of art. Amazing. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> so we have a Christmas specialty shop here in Disney Springs that we're going to check out called Days of Christmas. You ready to check it out, Ben? Ready to get in the holiday mood early? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, nice and cool in here. Blasting it just like winter. Of course, we're greeted with a lot of stuff from Nightmare Before Christmas. It only makes sense. I like this Jack Skellington. That's a dope denim jacket. The bones all over print. That's what's up. Tie dye hoodie. Very cute display with the 101 Dalmatians. your mini stockings <laughs> if you've been nice for the year Santa will leave some nice presents for you inside the mini stock super cute oh, they also have Dumbo. Oh. Dumbo and Pooh nice variety huh. oh stitch seeing a lot of stitch representation here and Mike and Scully of course Mike and Sully we got the seven dwarfs. Nice little display here with the, uh, the mine. But as you can see, a lot of Christmas decorations in the mine. <laughs> They're really decorating. It's a Christmas store. Mm -hmm. Pigs. A variety of ornaments. Cute Mickey 50th anniversary ornaments. Again, a variety of Disney themed ornaments. If you're an ornament collector, this is heaven for you. If you want Grogu on your Christmas tree, that's it right there. Look at this guy. This one, ornament. Grogu. Grogu is $17.99. $17.99. On the back is like this. Okay. Cool. Double sided. Very cool for Grogu fans. Very, very cool. Tons of ornaments. They even have Disney Cruise Line ornament with the cruise ship right on the top. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that looks cool. You got the water effect going on. <laughs> this is motivating me to want to experience the Disney Cruise Line. <laughs> Hopefully within the next year or so. Mm -hmm. huh. Look at this cool display with the fireplace. Feels really warm. <laughs> just, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> But it looks really cool though. And... Twenty twenty one merch. That's cool. If you want something to remember your trip in 2021, there you go. And they'll be cooler as time goes on because they will be retro. Yeah. And become collectibles. My personal favorite pieces? The stockings. So 
All right, so we're winding down our stay here at Disney Springs for the day, and we're gonna end it off on a fun note. It is now time for candy and snack shopping. Yay! All right, you ready, Ben? Mm. Iko. Iko. Hi, Gooby. You look really cool. Shopping time. All right, so we just finished up at Disney Springs. We got uh, some snacks <laughs> that uh, we'll review when we get back to Canada. So, overall, all in all, man, Disney Springs is an experience to be had. Again, very huge. So if you think you can do everything in one day, uh, I don't think it's realistic. Uh, maybe two days to see everything if you really want to see everything again. And like I said, you don't have to pay to get into Disney Springs, unlike uh, Magic Kingdom or Hollywood Studios. However, once you're here, you'll definitely feel that Disney atmosphere and that Disney magic. So definitely worth coming. What do you think, Beth? <laughs> Trust us, you won't run out of things to do over here. There's just so much, so many restaurants that we still want to try, so many shops, so we will definitely be back. But as for today, have a Marvel list day. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah, see you soon. Peace.